Nothing can be more of a thrill ride than notching one more thing off of your bucket hunt list. I'm Matt Drury and you're watching DOD TV. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by PSE Archery. Head on over to PSE and dial in your shooting style to get the best product for your specific needs. Longtime jury team member Dave Reisner, he's one of those guys that you can't catch him sitting still. Now that doesn't make him an impatient hunter though. He's going completely off the grid in Manitoba to try to harvest his first ever moose. A uh, bucket list hunt alert. Let's see how Dave Dave handles himself when he gets up close and personal with an animal the size of a Volkswagen. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't forget, in the middle of this thing, you're not gonna wanna miss the PSC Archery Revelation Tip of the Week from Blake Shelby. It may just be the difference in success or failure this fall. You know, once you load all your gear up on that float plane and you load yourself up and the pilot gives you his instructions and you take off, you know you're going somewhere remote. Well, here we are, we're on our lake. We're uh, getting ready to moose hunt. Just landed, so got all of our gear together. First thing you have to do is shoot your bow again. So that's what we're doing. We're shooting our bow before we head out this afternoon. Well, you know, we head out for our first adventure, our first hunt, and we take the boat down to an island and we're checking, you know, along the sandy shores. And sure enough, we found a big bull track. You know, and right there, your excitement level just goes up through the roof. You're thinking, you know, there has been a bull moose here relatively recently. And uh, then you're just hoping, you know, hoping for a little lady luck. I heard ranking, I think. So this bull moose, he is working his way beautifully down this beach. And initially I thought he was gonna go right past us, have a nice easy shot, you know, it'd be easy. Well, of course, you know, it, it couldn't have done that. So what does he do? He even builds the excitement even more. He turns and kind of angles towards us and then angles broadside right up into the brush that we were in. So here we are stuck in this sticky situation. You know, I've got this bull moose 20 to 25 yards away staring at us not knowing what he's gonna do, but knowing that I can't get a shot off. I can't shoot over the top of the brush, and he is just there right for the taking. So what is he gonna do? Does he see us as you know, something he wants to combat and charge us? You know, we've seen that before, and uh, you, know, you don't know what's gonna go on. You're just living in, in like a second by second moment. So we're playing cat and mouse with him and you know he's definitely entertained but at some point he's losing his attention so and the guide senses that you know and he, he just he did something that came natural to him he went down into the water and splashed into the water acting like a moose you know splashing or chasing in the water and this definitely refocused this bull Proper follow through is one of the most important aspects of the shot. And the best thing that you can do after you shoot the bow, simply hold the pin as well as you can on the target. Give yourself a good one second. That proper follow through will really help you make great shots. If you're ready to take your hunt to the next level, then head out to Cabela's and check out the PSE Brute Force Lite. Now on sale, saving you $100.
He's like, oh, that hit just changed his attitude again. I thought he left us three times. Yeah, I know. He just kept turning around. He wanted some action. He just wanted it. Yeah. I mean, it looked My first moves ever. Come on. Oh. Congratulations. But first day? Not bad. <laughs> well, first day, last day. That was awesome. I don't care what day it was. That was exhausting. That felt wow. like four or five days worth of hunting right there. Yeah. Well, it's the next morning. It's definitely colder this morning, but we're gonna go get my moose. Good shot was made. Hopefully all we have to do is walk up to him and uh, I got a bucket list checked off. So we're gonna start going just in the direction we saw. I know we heard him up here somewhere. He didn't seem that far, right. but we were all excited. You never know what you heard for sure. So. Right. Oh my God, he's right there. Right there. Congratulations, <laughs> but nice shot. That nice is awesome. Shot. That is awesome. Well, here I am sitting behind uh, my bucket list number one animal. I mean, I've wanted to harvest a moose since I've been knee high to a grasshopper and first day of the hunt, Russ made it happen and I have ultimate confidence in my carbon air and the rage combination. And you know, here I am 50 yards away from, uh, you know, from where I let the arrow fly and I, I couldn't be happier as a hunter. I mean, this is this is my number one animal. I've always wanted to, to bow hunt a moose and uh, on my first day, you know, Russ and Weber's Lodges got her done. Whether Dave has a rabbit foot in his pocket or not, I'm not sure, but he makes a great shot it's a great harvest, and he's going home with a little extra luggage. Make sure and subscribe to that Jury Outdoors YouTube channel because we are shooting for 100,000 subscriptions. All we need is you, a subscription, and in return, we're going to give away a few PSE bows. Now, I'd say that's a pretty fair trade-off. Until next time, safe hunting, and good luck this fall. You can check out this hunt in its entirety and so much more on MOTV, the exclusive digital home for all the DOD Outdoor Channel shows.